When the Mercedes-Benz M-Class was launched back in 1997, luxury SUVs were more of a weight, what kind of thing than an idea whose time had come. Lincoln had just introduced the Navigator, while the Cadillac Escalade and the BMW X5 were still incubating. Range Rovers had been around, but here in the US, they were known less for their swagger than for their dismal reliability record. Luxury was a sedan thing. Who would want a luxury SUV? Clearly, the Alabama-built McClass has proved a worthwhile endeavor, Mercedes-Benz boasting of some 1.6 million sold during the last 18 years. Now, the Mercedes SUV family has grown to include three more models, not to mention the long-serving and iconic class, prompting a new naming strategy to cut the acronym clutter. Hence, the McClass has become the GLA class, the better to align it to an own sedan counterpart, the A class. The swap coincides with the crossover's mid-cycle refresh, which also sees it add a new plug-in hybrid and even a coupe counterpart covered separately to take on the BMW X6. The exterior update is subtle yet effective. The edges have been sanded off most of the front end elements, and the tail lamps have been redesigned bringing the whole vehicle more in line with the rest of the Benz family. The interior upgrade is rather more significant, primarily because the updated command system places the control dial under a touchpad, a la 2015 class, while a large display screen stands prominently between two giant air vents. The rest of the dash and the door panels are unchanged, but between the new upper dash components and the sumptuous materials, the cabin looks and feels more upscale than any McClass models ever did. The GLE will be sold in no fewer than five versions in the U.S. The gas-powered GL350 and GL400 models, the GL300D, the new GL550 plug-in hybrids F states only, and the stunkin 550 and 577 horsepower GL63 AMG models. Unfortunately, our brief drive time through the Austrian mountains was limited to the GL 250D diesel the name of the GL 300D in other markets and the GL 550E plug-in hybrid. A familiar diesel, our initial impressions suggest that, as far as the diesel power GLE is concerned, everything we experienced when we tested the ML 250 Blue Attack a few months ago carries over. The torquey four-cylinder, which produces 201 horsepower and 369 lbft, feels quicker than the specs suggest. We saw an 8.3 second 0 to 60 mph time in our testing. All GLE models use a 7-speed automatic transmission, although a new 9-speed unit is available in the coupe. The ride remains as pillowy as ever with the optional air suspension in comfort mode. Sport mode brings tidier body motions and a bit more communication from the chassis, although the steering remains slower center and aloof regardless of the setting. Relaxed as it is, we expect it will be perfectly aligned with most GLE buyers expectations. Anyone in search of a more sporty luxury ute experience will probably not even look at a GLA class unless it wears GL63 AMG badges on the back, that is, if they get past the Porsche store without driving off in a KN. The McClass always did surprisingly well off-road, but today's model is even more capable, especially when equipped with knobby off-road tires and the optional on off-road package which in the US will be offered only on the GL400. It includes low-range gearing, locking differentials, added underbody protection, and a vehicle raising function that adds more than an inch of ground clearance. The 360-degree parking cameras also come in rather handy when cresting a ridge without the aid of a spotter. Of course, the typical GLA class will never see dirt beneath it, but it's nice to know that, just in case Armageddon falls upon us, or a stall truck blocks the entrance to Barney's, one can hop a curb and trample the impatience with a plomb. A new FEV, at roughly £5,400, 
The GL 554 Matic plug-in hybrid is a lot porkier than the GL 300D, but with 436 horsepower and 479 lbft of torque from its combo of a 329 horsepower V6 and 114 horsepower electric motor, it's much faster. Mercedes estimates a 0 to 62 mph time of 5.3 seconds which compares rather favorably to Porsche's 5.4 second estimate of its 416 horsepower KNS hybrid's 0 to 60 sprint. Rather more to the point is the hybrid's ability to travel some 19 miles at speeds up to 81 miles per hour purely on electrons. When left in its default hybrid mode, one of four powertrain settings that also include a of charge, and electrically modes, we found that the vehicle cruises along using battery power nearly all of the time, with the gas engine slipping into and out of the picture with the subtlety of a dual thief. Insofar as silent speed is consistent with luxury, and Tesla has certainly proved that it is, the 550 feels pretty spot on. Consider this a preemptive strike against the Model X. The bulk of the GLA class lineup arrives in showrooms in August at prices ranging from $52,025 to $65,525 for non-AMG versions. AMG models ring in at $100,875 for the GL63 AMG and $108,025 for the S model. More pricing info for the lineup can be found here. We're still awaiting prices for the plug-in hybrid, which arrives in September, but we've been advised, it won't be cheap. Despite the new name, Mercedes is not really blazing a new trail with the GLA class, but with an improved interior and a broader model range, it is better able to cover the wide spectrum of the segment it helped create.